Generic greetings and welcome to PC Building Simulator. Today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea. Lovely, lovely. So it's been a while since I've played this game and since the last video there's been numerous updates. One of them in fact uh, focusing on the career mode which is being expanded upon which is very, very, very well received and welcomed because I did enjoy the series we did and I enjoyed playing that but it was just a little bit feature light in places. So adding more stuff in there, yeah, that means definitely we will be going through the career mode and doing a full series on it in the future. But this is just a standalone video that's focusing on two main things. Because there's now custom some water cooling in the game as you can see from the uh, PC in the background there we're going to be playing around with some of that now I've not done that in real life nor in this game so it will be a play about um, I really don't know what I'm doing now but I will be like a dog with a chemistry set I, as I am with most things obviously but uh, still We'll uh, be trying some of that, and the other part of it will be building a, a very specific PC. Now, this is a uh, thing is I have a I have a friend. Well, I say friend, more colleague. Well, it's more nemesis at times actually, who is in the market, shall we say, for a new machine, and they are also in the situation that they can just fling money at the problem, which is nice of them. Uh, plus ten generic jealousy units because my machine generic computational device version 2 is starting to struggle being three years old so you know subscribe to patreon and all of that uh, <laughs> you can also click the join button as well give me money please um i need i need money for beverages obviously hmm Anyway, I digress and go back in a little more serious tone. Um, yeah, they've given me the the spec sheet for what they uh, were thinking about buying, legitimately thinking about buying, and it does read like a laundry list of uh, all of the dream party would want in a machine. So we've got a 280 Ti, we've got we've got an i9. Oh, I thought it was an i7. We've got an i9 in here. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got all sorts, even down to the browser Google Chrome. I mean, I don't think that costs too much. Anyway, so what we want to do, we want to build this as close to it. We will not be able to make the exact machine. The exact parts and components and manufacturers are on this, but we won't be able to have all of that because obviously the game isn't um, as such that it's got everything that these manufacturers make. So we're going to get as close to it as possible and then we're going to do the uh, the water cooling stuff. So this is a machine that I must have been working on in the past, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, and we want to we want to get the, the case, which, uh, let's have a quick look. So the case is a Cooler Master Master case. So we've got a cases and let's just start on this one. So Cooler... Uh, Cooler Master, Master Case, they've got an MC500M. Well, the closest we can get, at least name-wise, is this one here, which is a... Oh, it's only a mid-tower, though. Oh, that's not good. Um, we want probably a full tower. Mid-tower, mid-tower, mid-tower. Oh, so I guess it's going to be this one, then, the uh, the Cosmos C700P. Now, I, I, the thing is, if I was a lot more involved with building... Ooh, good grief. Uh, building machines, I, I, should have, I should know, like, what parts... Um, what, what the numbers, like, mean. I'm sure there will be someone that... Oh, it's actually just a hinged door. That's very, very handy indeed. Anyway, yeah, um... So, maybe this one isn't the closest to that one on the list, but eh, I don't think it really matters too much. As long as we get a big case to put all of our water cooling in, which obviously we will be probably removing some of these extras and plunking them in there. There's been a lot more par partners added as well, so I think there's just more stuff in this one. So there's that. We now need to put in the motherboard, which I think we can just pick up from here. So, um, it is a Asus. Um, actually... For a start, they're going for an i9. Well, okay, so we want to go CPU processors, i9. And an i9, they've listed on here as an 8-core uh, 9900K. Well, that doesn't exist in the game. Um, it's currently rated at um, oh, overclocked to 4.9. <laughs> okay, apparently they also want a 10-bar heater in the room as well. Um... So what would the closest to that be? Well, normally I would just go with the most expensive, but what I'm looking for really at this point is the socket, and it's a 2066 socket. So I want to go for motherboards, and we'll just say Asus uh, 2066, I believe we can type in. Um, no, we cannot, sadly, but um, we can have a quick look around them. Well, we, there's all the Asus stuff, and we can look for 2066. Um on the sockets there. So they've gone on this list for a Maximus 11 Hero. That's the wrong socket. <clears throat> I hope they haven't bought this machine. Because <laughs> um, it's an LGA 1151. But what they've put in there is not <laughs> the right thing. Hang on. Am I reading this spec sheet wrong? I really hope I am. Um... 
Okay, I just gotta make a quick phone call one sec. No, no, no. no. Um, right, so. Uh, we're gonna get as close to this as possible. So, we'll go for... Um, I mean, I don't know how accurate the game is or whether this sheet's wrong or whether they're just a moron and built it wrong. I mean, they're definitely that, but I don't know whether it's a... You know, a, a user error problem or a machine error. Or column A and column B. All the I9s in the game, every single one of them, are 2066. Got ya. Okay, so... Motherboard, 2066, right? There we go, they're all aces, right, understood. So, um, which one do you want to go for? Well, uh, Rampage, and I'm going to go with a hero, the Maximus hero. There is no hero, so generally we'd go for the Strix, followed by the Extreme. Extreme has the fastest overall RAM, so we're going to get that one. And, oh, actually, you don't have to get it this way. I think you just go into here, and then... Um, I think you just go to install, and ah, that's right, you just go this way, and then we'll say, um, 2066, good Blade Run film, <laughs> and we want to go with that one, um, and we will put the standoffs in, there we go, always remembering to put them in the right place, otherwise you just short it out, and then your machine that's going to cost probably close to three grand is going to self-destruct, there we go. And what's this bit of dust going around? We should really be in a humetically sealed environment. There we go. And... That's taking forever. Um, there's a thing. I wonder if we can do that. Or did I put the I.O. plate in? It's in there, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. There's all that. There's that installed, okay. Um, what I want to do is go to I and then... Um, tools. Can we just increase our installation speed? I don't think we can. Oh well. So there's that. Uh, what we'll do is we will zoom in and we want to move that around and we will open that up. So there we go. And we will get our processor. So it is install and it's processors i9. So which is the best? I have no idea. Um. I'm guessing higher numbers are better. 9.7, 9, 9.7.20, 9, 9.7.40, 60, and then 80XE. Uh, 18 core. Um, 8 core, and that's got 18 cores, so that's not right. 9900K is hyper threading, so that would be a. 8 core is standard, so I think it's that one. If it's not, then, you know, doesn't really matter. Okay, excellent. Install, tools, thermal paste, let's not forget about that. And we will not put anything else in because obviously we are going to put custom water blocks in. So we'll leave that for now. Right, next thing, RAM. Okay, install, uh, memory, and it is a... A Chaucer, so a Corsair. It is a Vengeance DDR4, 3000 megahertz. Um, I think that's it there. Oh no, that's platinum. I st uh, fit this PC, yes, there we go. It would have been nice if in memory you can then... For a game that you spend so much time in the menu with, it would be nice if when you click on memory, it would just give you a list of like, um, like, like when you go on pretty much any parts place, and it says what type of speed you want, or it gives you the search options. Please, can we add that? <laughs> I mean, you'd think that would be quite high up on the list of requirements, but anyway. So, uh, 3000, if I just that, is that better? And then I can just go through the Corsair stuff. Yes, I can. Right. Dominator Platinum. Dominator plat. What's the difference between these two, then? What? Are they just the same RAMs? I... I think so. Oh, no, that's 4 gig. That's fine. Uh, oh, 32 gig. Two sticks of 16. That's the one. There we go. So I want that one. So I will install it in... Uh, no, no, this is the thing. I'm guessing that... These are matched pairs, so they should go in the colour-coded ones, or should they go next to each other? I do not know. I do not know, actually. So, I will... What the hell is that, by the way? What's that? That says Corsair, and it's already in the machine. 
Is that a network card or something? It's already built into it. This bit here, this card. I have no idea what it is. Oh, it doesn't say Corsair, it says Asus. Uh, M.2. Oh! It says DIM.2. Is that the M2 solid state drive slot? No. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if uh, the M.2 stuff's in here. Right, so that was one of those. We need to install another one. So we'll go for that one. And here we go. That goes in. Um, we now need that sorted. Now, this is the biggie. So how much is that? That's 16, 32 gig of 300 megahertz. That's fine. Graphics card. Right. This. And then if it wasn't stupid before. <laughs> oh, it's jumped the laser shark now. Hmm. As we can see in the background, the fridge has been nuked and all. 11 gig NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. <laughs> Alright, okay, fine. Um, we'll go over to graphics cards. I don't think it's in. 2080, nope, what a surprise. Uh, 2070? Nah. None of the Turing architecture, card, uh, architecture cards are in either. That's a shame. RTX, just to, nah, double check. Okay, so that none of that's in. So in that case, then, what is the closest to that? It'll be a 1080, surely. It'll be a 1080 or close to it. Um, 1080. I think it will be a 1080. Um, there's EVGA. Is there any specification on this one? No, there is not. Hang on, have they, have they SLI'd them? No, they haven't. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Um, so, yeah, many cards on this one. Quite frankly, I'm going to go with the fastest. And car frequency. That's the OC edition. Hang on. Oh, that's 11 gig, but slower. This is 11, I believe. Yes. So that's the closest to it, I think. Unless this one is faster. And it is by a very tiny margin. And it's EVGA. So we're going to go with that one. And, oh, we need to remove these back in plates. Um, so I'm being... How do we remove that then? We have to really get the camera in here, aren't I? It won't let me remove that bit. That just bit there. Hmm. Do I have to remove the entire back? Uh, yes, we do. It's my unfamiliarity with this case. Install. Was that the right one? Let me just check that again. Install. Graphics cards, 1080. That one. The Kingpin edition. It's a beast, that's what it is. Absolute unit of a card. Look at that. Um, I put it there so that hopefully it'll be very close. Right. Uh, what else do we have? We have two storage devices. The first one is a 250 gig solid state. Not, uh, I'd just say Samsung, but I don't know if they're a partner in this one. So we want um, storage and we want 250. And we have two of them. Okay, so we'll go for that one because it's the most expensive. Oh, and we should probably have... I should probably have checked out exactly where this thing is placed. Ah, there. It is placed exactly there. That's simple enough. Right. Uh, missing parts. What missing parts? Oh, probably the panels. Um, okay. Uh, we also now need a 4 gigabyte. Um, uh, four, sorry, four, te four terabyte, four gigabyte would not be much. Um, Seagate Barracuda. Oh, that's actually what's listed. Four terabyte Seagate Barracuda, set of three, three point five inch HDDD six transfer. Blah, blah blah. Yes, that one. Okay, excellent. And ah, that definitely requires me to remove panels, doesn't it? I need to be in there. Okay, remove the panels. So let's shift that over and let's get this removed. It's actually quite interesting building one like from a spec sheet like that. There we go, that's installed, and I will install, uh, that's, no, I won't install that, there's no point because I'm going to have to rip it off to um, do other things as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we have 
case check um we've got the processor sort of check motherboard again sort of ram yes definitely graphics card no um for both storage though yes correct um power supply the power supply is only listed as a 650 watt it is 80 plus gold though so it should be reliable enough I'd put 800 in personally, but anyway, um, I, I just think you can you can never really underdo uh, <laughs> anything to do with power. Because guess what? Well, if that fails, well, the the best result is you buy a new power supply. If it fails badly, then you buy a new PC. And if it fails really badly, a new house. Anyway, so install. We want to go to power supplies and uh, do I follow the spec sheet? Oh, go on, 650. Um. Bronze, no. Platinum, no. Uh, who is it? Is it a Corsair? It is... Um... Yes, Corsair. And... It is a TXM Series Semi-Modular. That's the one! Cool! Get that installed. Um... Do we have to remove... Oh, we're going to have to remove this, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we have to remove the case first. Oh, that's right, because you slide... You, this... Instead of having to try and fight the uh, the power supply in there, you do it differently. You put the power supply in there. Actually, technically, you would, I believe, um, put the grid on that, put the case bit on that, and then you would uh, screw that to the machine. But it doesn't matter for the purposes of this video. What does matter is that I can't see down there. There we go. It's hard to line the shots up sometimes. I don't know why this case has like a smoked glass panel. I don't like the smoky glass. Right, so that's up there. Um, in terms of cooling, it is listed as a Corsair H100X Hydro with quiet fans. But we are going to ignore that because we definitely want to put in some of the custom water cool and stuff just for fun um i think that's it you know uh, power cable yes um thermal compound is on sound card on board wired is on board uh no external cards or anything like that and that's it so really we are just talking about cooling and lights and fans and such now so cooling let's delve into some overclocking so, and by the way, I'm sure, I, I know for a fact that at this point there will be something I'm missing and everything will blow up horribly later on, but, you know, I haven't got to that part yet. So, we want to get a CPU block, and as I have no idea um, what I need, I'm just going to have a look around and we'll go for uh, probably the see-through one. We'll go for that one and then we'll install that. So, there we are. Like I said, I've never messed around and, and indeed really researched or had any interest in in custom water loops i've just never had any real care to look at them um but i do know you need a reservoir and a radiator and graphics card um oh ah right so these right you cannot install the i thought there was a block that goes on the side of the card it is not i assume Perhaps wrongly that this is a stopgap measure and they've put these in just so you can use it, but later on they'll allow you to have different variations in the list. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, just surmising. That would make sense. Um, so anyway, we need to get one of these. So we're looking at them and quite frankly they're all identical. I think they are. Right, so we're going to go with that one. But we have to first remove this. Imagine that you bought that and then oh, I'll just I'll just, I'll just get I'll just get this one. Um, graphics card. Um, oh, there's loads actually. Um, oh, I wonder if the 2080s are in it. Nah, Jim. <laughs> they weren't going to be weather. 1080. Okay. Um, and there's loads of them, but we're going to go with the the TI with the plexi block. There we go. Sound. Okay. Uh, we need a reservoir which will go with the yeah, what was our what was our CPU it was that one there wasn't it um, I like that one 
So the question is, where does it go? Can it go there? Oh, it can go there. Sweet. I have no idea as to where you're supposed to place these. I'm just going to try my best. I'm now going to remove... Um, oh, actually, no. Do we put the... Do we put it up there? Or do we put it on the front? We could probably have those two on the front left and put the other bit on there. So let's do that. Install um, radiators. Probably that one. Can it be installed in there? It can, but we need to remove some of this cover for The dust cover first, I think. I think that's the bit it wanted me to remove. Yes! Okay. Now, when I built my machine, I must come first, and this is hard to admit. Um, my radiator on the top, which incidentally is a um, H100i GTX, and I know that because that box is sitting next to the PC with my VR unit in it to keep the dust off it, because um, it's the perfect size. Um, I've put it. I've put my radiator on the wrong way around, um, but it just seemed, it never seemed to affect it. I don't think the process has gone over 30 degrees in its lifetime, so hey, that's good. Right, so we have, I believe, what we need. Um, right, so what do we have? We have connectors and coolant. Um, oh, so connectors, right. So you've got different fittings and different like angles, and then you've also got piping. So what pipe do we want to go? Clear, flexible pipe? So yes, we have to start connecting this up. So, I believe it goes from the... Ooh, which is which is the in and out? Uh, um, ah, right. This is where, this is where it starts to um, get problematic because I don't know which one is the in and out. I'm trying to work it out by just looking at the image of that. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, that's not, that's not overclocked. Oh, darn it, okay, they're not, <laughs> they're not in there. Um, okay, we're just gonna have to guess at it then, aren't we? Um, install custom pipes clear. It might tell me which part it is after doing that. It really doesn't. So I'm going to do that and that. And why is the two? Do you need two? And, oh, that doesn't like that at all. That really doesn't like that at all, does it? No route for flexible pipe. Undo. Uh, um. Right, I'm... Uh, I can't click undo. Ah, there we go. Um. Right, okay, that seemed to work it out. Aha! Now, is that alright? It seems to be in... Although these don't have anything in. I mean, there's only really one way of finding out, isn't there? So let's just connect everything. And we'll see if this works. And I'm not taking my time to plug them in specific... Um connectors I'm just connecting everything up like when I say that like specific connectors like the hard drive I'm not bothered about what what it goes in here it's like oh it goes in somewhere because I don't think the game simulates it anywhere in reality I don't think it makes too much of a difference these days so there's just loads of connectors here uh, these are actually plugging in the back now this is just like the the keyboard and the mouse and there we go. Install coolant. Mm, black flecked coolant. That'll look quite nice. Let's go with the clear. Oh, that's good. See? Oh, yes! Ooh! Now that's good. <laughs> I wonder if you have to... Is that got a, like a bleed nipple on the top there? So, or, does it, or is it slightly open to wear? 
because I'm guessing you could get a vacuum or you could get air bubbles in it, which is something you really don't want. Um, is there a way we can tie? Is there a way we can tidy these up? What are these copper fittings here? Does it just lock it off or something? Um, I think it might do. Like, no, I don't know what it does. Anyway. Anyway. I've pressed the power button. Hasn't yet exploded. It is, however, all kinds of colours. No OS found. Right, well, that's understandable. Right, power. So, we need to... Um, install... USB drive. And I believe that's it, is it? Hold delete or F2 to enter BIOS. I don't want to do that. Overclocking is something we may do later on. The machine powers up. Um, we want to add system info. I didn't want to reset it, actually. I was going to... Uh, Check some other things out, but that is working. Can we install stuff while the machine's still on? I think we can. Yes, we can. Oh, it's a shame that you don't see that, though. Would you want to see that? And when we can beautify this up later on. Also, I'd want to, I'd want to alter these pipes, and I'd, I'm sure I've seen a way of moving these pipes. Hmm. Like altering the pipes in detail. Anyway, install dust filter. Install one of that and back panel. That is technically it working. Right. Um, add. We want lighting installed. We don't want to restart. Will it run? We know it's going to run. And... We're not going to tune it so that 3D mark can go on as well. And then we'll restart it for hopefully one final time. Well, so far, no crisis. Um, I didn't get all of the parts in the exact order that I wanted, and I don't know whether that was to do with them being wrong on the list, or there's been changes since then, or whether this list is just a wish list of stuff that want not necessarily work together. Like I said, the, the socket thing threw me a second for a while, and I don't know if that's wrong or not. But, um, yeah, there's certainly parts missing that we can't mess around with. So let's go to System Info. We can see it is, ooh, 33 degrees, right? Uh, RAM's in there. Um, hang on, have I put the wrong frequency in? Oh, don't say I have. I thought I, thought I put 3,000 megahertz in there. Corsair Dominator Platinum 16 gig 3,000. Ha! Wrong! <laughs> Something's up there, isn't it? Um, that definitely says 2400. Okay, I don't know. SSD, yeah, that's fine. HDD's in there. Water cool GPU, um, that's about right. Motherboard, that's fine. And the CPU, right. I'm not going to try and overclock it. No, it'll be silly. Uh, lighting, so we've got the um, Cooler Master, that's currently pink. We're going to change it to. That one. Um, 255128. Okay, apply. And there we go. Ooh. Orange. Nice. What about a blue, actually? So, select all. Go for like an enchanted blue. Hmm. I think we could change the colour of the liquid, couldn't we? And the uh, ROG stuff, the Asus stuff, all, is, is mainly red anyway. Like the resets and the other stuff on there are red. Well, I'll be honest. I am quite happy with that. Let's change it over to red. That'll probably look alright. Yeah. That's what we had before. I like the orange, actually. I thought the orange was just nice. Um, yeah, the orange seems to work a bit better, I think. Yeah, I'm um, I'm quite surprised and indeed happy that we got all that working. 
I did prefix this video with saying that I've never used the uh, water cooling stuff, so I don't, I have no idea whether or not that's legitimate or whether it's just a complete and utter mess, but it works. And that's fine. At least we've got a starting position now, and we can keep bashing our head against the wall until we get it right. And if there's a thing to learn, it's, um, well, it's, it's something, it's either reading up or on something like this, rather than trying to bodge it in real life, because you certainly wouldn't want it with all of this. Either way, it works. I would need it. I want to tidy the cables up. I would change the coolant. I would probably try and get that somewhere else. All of the this side off because it looks a bit better like that. You see, I think the smoke glass though. Hmm, bit annoying. But because it's all like dark inside, you can hardly see anything anywhere. <laughs> Either way, that has been a little bit of PC Building Simulator. We have made the machine from a, a list, or at least to try to get close to that list as possible. And we've also done some custom water cooling stuff. And I really want to play some more of this now. <laughs> as always, thanks for subscribing. You can check the game out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.